the one key thing about this con the IP crime conference has been the scope and the breadth of it. For instance, you have countries for, represented from all parts of the world here. Uh, in addition, you have prosecutors, customs officials, police, uh, all elements of the enforcement uh, strategy that any company or rights holder would really need to take on if they want to enforce their brand. So the value is is not only in being able to meet with all the different officials, but also in being able to address all the different substantive elements that are involved in IP enforcement. For instance, there was conference elements involving customs issues, something involving internet, asset seizures. Uh, interesting uh, topic also was discussed was nuisance abatement in the context of pirates and counterfeiters who might be selling um, infringing products out of properties. And are there remedies perhaps to look at, at uh, those property owners who might be involved in uh, those illegal activities? So what you're seeing here is a full range of the IP enforcement world and all the different elements that need to be really addressed if you're a stakeholder or a rights holder who wants to protect their intellectual property rights. Uh, Interpol's value in, in combating IP crime can't be, cannot be matched. Uh, it provides uh, a, a hub, a kind of a central point that enforcement officials can turn to uh, for not only resources and assistance on a technical capacity, but also in terms of identifying contacts um, in, in a lot of these countries where, where the issues are pretty much the same and the challenges are all, are, are all, are all equal. Um, in addition, uh, the, the value of, of Interpol in, in combating IP crime is that in this day and age, there's limited resources that governments and industry have in fighting piracy and counterfeiting. Uh, the value that Interpol provides is by um, taking advantage of those, those finite resources that governments have, that industry has, and pooling together um, those resources for a conference such as the IP Time Conference that, that's occurring in Panama this week. For, for the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office, um, our involvement in Interpol has been very critical to, to some of the success that, that we're looking to achieve uh, in the regions where we're involved on in terms of education of uh, education and, and uh, informing enforcement officials about the best practices and tools needed to fight uh, piracy and counterfeiting. Uh, the partnership that we have with Interpol has been very valuable in that, in that sense because uh, both governments and industry have limited resources and so to the extent that we can work together in partnership as we've been doing, uh, it really adds not only value to the work that we're doing but also to rights holders and stakeholders who are also involved uh, in fighting piracy and counterfeiting worldwide. Well, I think uh, one area that, that we're looking at is, is certainly the internet. Uh, the internet is changing the business model for, uh, for companies in terms of what they need to do to protect uh, their rights online, but it's also changing the model that, that criminals uh, and, the, and those involved in counterfeiting and piracy, uh, the model that they're taking in terms of, of uh, acquiring uh, infringing products and also the distribution of those products worldwide. And so I think going forward, that's an area that uh, is going to have to be a lot more attention brought on by not only just governments and industry, but also the partnerships that are working together uh, to try to tackle those challenges. Capacity building and training are a critical element when you start looking at the IP enforcement regime and what needs to be done to protect rights holders. Uh, many countries uh, certainly have uh, staffing regarding police, customs officers, and prosecutors, but they don't necessarily have the expertise or experience in fighting IP crime. And that's one of the reasons that Interpol and the USPTO have worked together very closely on capacity building and, and training on best practices for enforcement officials from throughout the world. Uh, without capacity building and training, a lot of the enforcement officials are coming in without any expertise and understanding on not only how to address the problem, but what is the scope um, and the risks involved um, with regards to piracy and counterfeiting. One of, the, one of the biggest challenges now when we start looking at IP enforcement uh, is the risk that now are occurring to the public health and safety aspect. Um, this day and age, we see counterfeiters and pirates are not, no longer going after strictly content issues, let's say movies and film, but they're also progressing into areas of consumer goods, um, pharmaceuticals, things that really have uh, a public health aspect and then tie-in. And the risks, of course, are immense. The dangers involved in, in, uh, in potentially consuming or, or using counterfeit uh, products um, are very high. A very important component of, of this conference has been a mix of not only larger uh, plenary sessions involving 
uh, issues that might span across the entire range of IP enforcement, but also uh, breakout sessions, uh, operational roundtables that have been occurring. And that enables the uh, participants to get really deeper into the issues that they might not be able to address on a more on plenary level basis. Uh, in addition, it allows for stronger contacts to be established between a lot of the officials here um, that on a general basis maybe uh, know each other but haven't been able to have the opportunity to talk more deeply about some enforcement strategies and tools that they've been privately using or within their own countries. Overall, I think that the IP Crime Conference has been an invaluable experience, not only for me, but I think also for the other participants. I think we have uh, on the agenda uh, over 100 different speakers or facilitators involved in terms of a uh, uh, substantive role in, in the program. And to pull together um, so many experts from the different parts of the world um, is, is, a, is a great opportunity for those who are looking to understand the cutting edge issues involved in IP enforcement and fighting piracy and counterfeiting worldwide.